allow me, give me the chance to speak about the Arabic novel, the history and the development of the Arabic novel. Um, I will take about 30 minutes, more or less. So please, uh, to deliver my talk, so please feel free to let me know if you are having any difficulty understanding any part of my talk due to my accent or otherwise. Okay? Thank you. Okay, well, um, it's not an easy task to trace the timeline, growth, and development of uh, the Arabic novel. For I believe there are as many Arabic novels as there are Arabic countries, uh, over 20 in total. The Arabic novel has proven to be a significant part of Arabic literature, as it continues to undergo a great growth and popularity across the time from its beginning during that late 19th century Arab Nahda, or in English, awakening, to the present time. The Arab Nahda, or awakening era, was one of the intellectual expansion at many levels, where Arabic culture as a whole went through a phase of deep re-evaluation. Literature was no exception as it too experienced a movement of redefining of its heritage while absorbing the then new ideas coming to us the Orient from the Occident or more particularly 19th century Europe. This factor actually gave rise to quality works. The first which was Hadith Isa Ibn Hisham, and allow me to say the names in Arabic so that you know how they sound. So uh, the first of it was Hadith uh, Isa Ibn Hisham, or Discourse of Isa Ibn Hisham, by Muhammad al muwalahi And it was published as a series in 1898, and in a brand new narrative style book form in 1907. However, Zainab, published in 1914 by Muhammad Hussein Haikal, is officially the first true Arabic novel. This was the first true Arabic novel. And this novel introduced the first romantic protest against social pressures 